Hello and welcome. Hoonix 16 has just been released, a Debian 11 based distribution with advanced security and privacy features via the Tor network. Let's take a look. Some of you may have heard of Tails, a typically thumb drive based all in one turnkey Linux environment that is pre configured to use Tor. Hoonix takes a different, robust approach with multiple virtual machines sharing a private virtual network. For this quick demonstration, I went and downloaded the OVA file and fired up the two included VirtualBox VMs. So here we have the two Hoonix VMs running the gateway and the workstation. The gateway is uh, Debian 64-bit, 1.2 gigs of RAM, and uh, we've got two networks configured, the NAT, which uh, is the host network, and uh, where the Tor connection goes through, and then we've got the internal network, the internal private network called Hoonix. Workstation, we've got this very similar setup, uh, two gigs of base memory, three cores as before, and it only connects to the internal network called Hoonix again. So that's the way it connects the gateway, which we have here. So we're doing the first boot of inst um, the, uh, the non-live version uh, for first configuration, which is what they recommend. So I'm going to let that come up, let it uh, decompress, and uh, we should be greeted with desktop shortly. So yes, what, less than 1.2 gigs of RAM are available, so it does a swap file. All right, we've got the uh, Hoonix setup wizard. Please do not continue unless you understand everything here. Okay, understood, verstanden. Next. Got some more stuff to read. Okay, looks good. So the setup wizard dist is completed. Click finish to run system check. Let's do that now. So before we connect to the Tor network, uh, wanna connect, configure, or disable Tor? Let's just connect. Click next, so Tor will be enabled. No bridges and no proxy. Click next. So now it says we're bootstrapping Tor. Okay, we're connected to the Tor network. So let's click finish. And now it's doing a system check of the Hoonix gateway VM. So it's checking the system status. Supposedly it's happening in the background. They say it takes approximately three minutes. All right. Looks like the system check has successfully completed. There's some updates we need to do through app get. So let's do that now. Uh, the the two machines are very similar, so let me just mark this one as Gateway. This is our Gateway VM. Just uh, make this a little smaller. So now we've identified it. Let's make this terminal a little bigger. So the default password is change me, so let's change it. So password. The current password is change me. The new password once and twice. There we go, we've changed our password. So let's type Hoonix and see uh, what are some of the commands available um, for us on this gateway uh, VM. Looks like a bunch, including updating uh, the packages. So let's do that now. Let's clear the screen and, or terminal rather, and sudo app-get update. Enter our new password. As you can see, everything goes through Tor, which can be quite slow. Uh, sudo app-get 
uh, this dash update or upgrade rather. And it wants to upgrade the helper scripts. So let's do that. And uh, so it's done. All right. Let's type Nix. Now Nix uh, allows us to uh, monitor the Tor connection and the bandwidth through it and uh, memory usage and so on and so forth, CPU usage. So it's very handy to have to check and see how the Tor is working. Let's switch now to the um, workstation. Let's get that VM fired up. Again, let it decompress. And uh, we should be booting up any minute now. And there it goes. So it has enough RAM, two gigs of RAM assigned to this VM. So it won't need a swap file, apparently. Okay. So now we're standing by for the desktop to load. And here it comes. All right. Once again, the Hunix Setup Wizard makes us read through all this important information. I strongly suggest you actually read it and don't just skip through it like I do just now. And uh, okay. So we're good to run the system check again. Let's do that. You can see it's the same desktop wallpaper as the gateway. So that's why I'm going to mark this as workstation. Once it's done doing this system check, so it's doing a uh, Tor bootstrap test. So it's standing by for the Tor connection. So its only communication is through the gateway uh, slash firewall that we just set up earlier. So now it's checking the system status. Again, this is the approximately three minutes, hopefully a lot less it will take. All right. Great, so it looks like our system check completed successfully. We also have app get um, new packages available. So let's mark this as workstation. Uh, yeah, there we go. Make this bigger. So this is the workstation. They will apparently fix the identical uh, desktop wallpaper in, the, in a future release so that the gateway and the workstation can be easier uh, to be distinguished. So let's change our password again, as before. And, uh, let's type this again. Good, all right. So now let's type Hunix. So yeah, we've got a few commands we can check out, but let's just do the... Um, package upgrades first. So sudo app-get update to synchronize with the repositories. Yes, it's connecting via Tor and HTTPS, so very secure. Let's do a dist upgrade. So it's updating the helper scripts and the Tor browser updater. I believe that's what it is. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. It's done. Let's do Unix again. Okay, I think it's time to update the Tor browser. So let's do that. So it's uh, downloads wants to do so. Yes, buy for yes. And now it's downloading via the Tor network. The Tor network is rather slow. Let's just switch over to the gateway and take a look at what Nix tells us. So we have a transfer rate in the hundreds of kilobytes per second. And uh, that is about a hundred times, if my math is correct, a hundred times slower than the bandwidth that my normal internet uh, service connection uh, provides. So yes, Tor is a lot slower because it 
It creates circuits through world random uh, relays, etc. Let's switch back to the, uh, the workstation now. And as you can see, it's up to 22%, 23%. Yes, this will take a while. And it finished downloading. And let's go ahead and install. So I hit Y there for installation. And yes, let's start the Tor browser. Okay. There we go. Let's just make this a little wider. So this is a local file, the welcome page. Let's do an IP check. That check.torproject.org shows that we've successfully uh, configured to use the, this Tor, Tor browser. Got an IP address assigned via the Tor network. So let's go to the hunix.org uh, homepage for this distribution. And there it is. Let's go ahead and try to default to the Onion services. So we should always prioritize onions. Yes. Prioritize onion sites when known. So let's do that. So let the uh, Hunix homepage reload as a dot onion. And there it is. Okay, for extra security. All right, so these are the various platforms you can install it on. Here's some press coverage. Very interesting reading. Looks like it's well known. So every activity is in a virtual machine. We've got some pre-configured, pre-tor configured apps. And a whole bunch of features. Um, yeah, this is definitely a kind of experimental uh, distribution. It's still in heavy development. Here's the wiki. So first what I'd like to do is, let's see, you've got a bunch of guides. Tutorials, instructions. Let's take a look at the overview. And first thing I'd like to show is this article, the Tor Myths and Misconceptions. I, I would strongly encourage you, if you're interested in this, uh, in operational security or OPSEC, uh, to uh, read through this entire uh, document very carefully. Uh, so you understand what it is you're doing. Also, we've got an overview for first-time uh, visitors. I've got the Hunix overview. And uh, so it talks a little bit about how they decide to design it. So only connections through Tor permitted, DNS leaks are impossible. So this is basically our setup. We've got the Hunix workstation, which we're using right now. It connects via the isolated Hunix network to the Hunix gateway. This is running inside of our host, um, which is um, currently uh, running a, uh, a Tor-friendly VPN. So the gateway, or firewall, handles all the Tor connections, and the host um, is uh, fully vpn because I don't want my ISP uh, to know I'm using Tor. I prefer not to. Here's the Hunix workstation. So you've got the applications with the SOX port set up. So that goes, they connect to the gateway. And what happens here is you have uh, multiple circuits that they can use so that it um, enables Hunix's stream isolation feature. So you have uh, different circuits going to different services. So applications without a SOX port set up uh, connects through the transport and uh, uses the same circuit over and over again. So identity uh, correlation is much easier for, uh, you know, for more quickly, easily identifying what you're doing. So here are the features and advantages page. Um, so they go through the software overview Feature list, anonymous browsing, communications, platform uh, flexibility, torification, tunnel and chaining support, and comparison, comparing with other uh, technologies. 
And as you can see, uh, this whole field is highly complex and very deep and broad. Uh, so a lot of uh, interesting reading if you're interested in that. All right, so we're back at the home page. And uh, yeah, it looks like this works as advertised, as far as I can tell. Hunix also includes pre-Tor configured Thunderbird email and hex chat apps, as well as other common utilities, unfortunately outside the scope of this quick demo video. I hope I whet your appetite to explore this complex topic further. Please remember that your internet service provider or government can easily tell when you're using Tor. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you found this video interesting or useful, please consider liking and subscribing. Until next time, be well.